Ever since I first started working out, all I ever wanted was a bubble bath. And yet no matter how much blood, sweat and tears I was putting into my workouts, I was stuck with my pancake booty. And it took me two long years to realise that it wasn't the obvious mistakes that I was making that were keeping my butt flat, but the ones that I hadn't even considered that were keeping me from the dumpy of my dreams. So in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the five most common mistakes that you are making that are keeping your butt flat and show you how to fix them and finally get the dumpy of your dreams. So you're super dedicated in the gym. You hit every single exercise with perfect form and you go as hard as your body can physically go every single time. And yet your glutes are still as flat as a pancake. Why? because you're not eating enough. When you're trying to grow your glutes, exercise alone is not enough. And that is the biggest mistake I made. I thought if I could just push myself as hard as physically possible, my glutes were gonna grow. But when you work out, your muscles experience these tiny little tears. And in order for those tears to repair and for your muscles to get stronger, you need to be eating enough. If you're only eating one meal a day or nibbling on rabbit food all day, your muscles don't have the energy they need to make those repairs. So your muscles are not gonna grow. Putting it as simply as I possibly can. If you don't eat enough, your body will literally lack the energy it needs to rebuild and grow and all those hours you spend tirelessly in the gym will be a massive waste of time. The solution to this mistake is eating in a surplus, which basically means eating more calories than your body expends every single day. Think of your body like a bank and every single day you spend energy like you would money on every single thing you do. A surplus means putting more energy into your bank than you spend every single day, which will mean you have a save storage of energy when your muscles need to repair after a really hard workout. But, and this is a big but, surplus is not just a ticket to binge on junk food. It's all about quality. Picture your body as a high-end car. It needs good fuel. It needs the best fuel to run as well as it possibly can. Think of protein like premium gas for your muscles, which also aids in their repair. Try to aim for around one gram per pound of body weight daily, which sounds really daunting, but that can easily be split into like 30 to 40 grams of protein every single meal, which makes it much easier to get in. And despite what your almond mum might be telling you, fats and carbohydrates are actually not your enemy. Carbohydrates are actually your body's primary primary energy source and they're going to help you massively in fueling your workouts, pushing harder and growing your glutes. So you've spent the past few months absolutely perfecting your squat form. You're getting stronger every session, you're hitting crazy depth every single rep and yet your glutes still aren't growing. Why you may ask? Well it's because you're doing the wrong exercise. Don't get me wrong, squats are a great movement when you're trying to grow your legs overall. But when we're trying to grow our glutes, not all exercises are created equal. In order to target the glute muscles specifically and not your entire legs, we need to do isolation exercises where we're isolating the glutes when we're working out. Your booty consists of three muscles, the gluteus maximus, medius and minimus. But when we're talking about achieving that bubble butt look, the heavy lifters here are going to be the gluteus maximus and the medius. The gluteus maximus, as the name suggests, is your biggest glute muscle and plays the biggest role when shaping your booty. And to really grow this muscle, we need to focus on hip extension exercises, which is basically exercises where you push your hips forward in the movement. Some of the best exercises for this are barbell hip thrusts and their variations, lunges, split squats, and also step ups. The gluteus medius, on the other hand, adds to the overall roundness of your glutes and to target it you'd want to emphasize more abduction exercises which basically is when you're moving one leg away from your body. Some great exercise choices to target the medius are direct hip abductions with your feet pointed slightly out the way or single leg movements like single leg hip thrusts, split squats or walking lunges although split squats are the devil so maybe we should steer clear of those. <laughs> that said, if you don't have a lot of time in the gym or you're just looking for that one game-changing exercise, really focus on mastering your hip thrust. I swear I saw the most glute gains when I really perfected my hip thrust form, slowed it right down, stripped the weight back, because once you get that technique down, you will be more than well on your way to growing that big round dumpy. Okay, so you've been working out for a few months. You've been hitting those glute exercises with sweat, 
tears, dedication, and really been giving it your all. But now your progress has plateaued. Your butt hasn't been getting any bigger and you're feeling stuck and frustrated. This happens because your muscles adapt to the stress that you're putting on them. So if you're lifting the same weight all the time or doing the same reps all the time and not progressing, your glutes are gonna get used to that and they're gonna stop growing. Progressive overload, which is when you continuously add stress to your muscles over time, is the key to continuous booty growth. What you're gonna need to do is start with a manageable weight that still challenges you and as you get stronger increase that weight or the resistance of your exercise. Alternatively you can also up the number of reps or sets or decrease the rest time between your sets. This way your glutes are always being pushed to adapt to the stimulus you're giving them and they will grow. Once you set yourself the goal of growing your glutes, I feel like it's really easy to slip into the habit of hitting them every single day with the hopes of speeding up your growth. However, doing a glute workout every single day is probably doing you more harm than it is good and is probably one of the main reasons why you're not seeing any growth. While it is great to be dedicated and hitting your glutes every single day may feel like dedication to you, there is a hidden trap in that of overdoing it. As I mentioned before, when you exercise, you cause tiny little tears in your muscles and and these little tears need time to repair in order for your muscles to grow. And if you're constantly working out that one muscle group and not giving yourself any time to repair, your muscles just not gonna grow. And not only is this gonna hinder your growth process, it's actually gonna make it more likely that you're gonna get injured, have to stop working out, and then completely throw your progress out the window. So in order to overcome this mistake, here is what you need to remember. First, don't train your glutes every single day. Instead, aim to train them around two to three times a week. This will give you enough time for those muscle fibers to grow and repair. Ideally, leave around 48 hours between intense glute workouts. This doesn't mean you can't exercise every single day, but maybe alternate the muscle groups that you exercise during the week, say one day you'll do glutes and hamstrings and then the next day you do shoulders. This will give your glutes enough rest to grow when you then come back to hit glutes maybe on the third day. Or if you don't want to grow your upper body whatsoever or do any other workouts, maybe opt for lighter activity on those days that you're having rest days and just for the love of God please allow yourself space to rest in between your workouts. I promise your butt will thank you. You'll know that your glutes have recovered and you can work out again if your overall soreness has decreased or disappeared completely and you should feel strong, not fatigued or weak when starting your workout again the next time you come to train glutes. Listen to your body. If you feel any sharp or lingering pain in your glutes, please take the time to rest and then come back in a couple days more recovered. This way you're actually going to be able to push much harder on that day and get more growth if you give your body the time it needs to rest. Also, I feel like this is really overlooked, but sleep is going to be your best friend when you're trying to recover. If you can get seven to nine hours sleep every single night, good quality sleep, not waking up, not going for a pee every hour in the middle of the night, your glutes are going to feel so much better and it's going to make it so much more likely that you can train them two to three times a week and feel recovered and keep getting stronger instead of not being able to recover at all and only being able to train them once and then being sore for two weeks after that which is not what we want now, I'm not gonna lie to you, when I first started my fitness journey, the first thing I did was follow a bunch of big booty influencers online and then, of course, started comparing what my body looked like to theirs. And while I think it's really inspiring to follow these people and see other people achieve their own fitness goals, I think it's also really important to remember that every single body is different, which is so cliche, but it is very true and it is something we need to really ingrain in our brains and realize. Unseen factors like genetics, or your starting point, or sports you played when you were a child, or even your daily habits play a massive role in what your body looks like. Also, people on social media usually only showcase their highlight reel, right? So they're taking photos in the best angles, best lighting, they've probably taken a hundred photos and only post the best two. And you don't know, those photos, they can be touched up with a little bit of Photoshop, so why would you compare yourself to somebody that doesn't even look like what they look like online? So to compare yourself to these girls online can not only be unbelievably demotivating, it's also a massive waste of your time and your energy because what you're comparing yourself to probably doesn't even exist. So it is so important that you set goals based on your own body, your own progress and how you feel. Aim to get stronger and healthier, not to look like someone else on Instagram. Sustainable muscle progress takes time 
time. It is a journey. Some people might see progress in a month and some people might not see progress for a whole year and that is okay. Not everyone is the same. Your most significant progress is going to be made by you staying consistent to your training and your nutrition. Instead of comparing your day 30 to someone else's day 300, focus on thinking about what you're going to look like on your own day 300. Remember, this whole journey is so unique to you. Cherish and enjoy your own process and the results will follow in their own time. You don't even need to worry about them. Just stay consistent. They will come. So that is all for today's video and I really hope it helped you guys put into perspective some of the mistakes you were making that you didn't even know you were making. Hopefully this video will help you on your bubble butt growing journey. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>